Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. In today's video, I would say this is probably one of my most requested videos and I'm gonna share with you my Louis Vuitton handbag collection. So it's only gonna be my bags. I'm not gonna do an SLG collection. If you guys want me to do a separate video on that, I can. But in today's video, I'm gonna share with you all of the Louis Vuitton handbags I've collected over the years. I'm gonna kinda of share with you mod shots of them. So I'm gonna show you the positives and the negatives so hopefully this will help you guys in case you are torn on a bag and you want to kind of know my thoughts. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and let's get right into my Louis Vuitton handbag collection. Okay, I just want to start this out by saying I know I don't need to, but we are talking about a Louis Vuitton handbag collection. By no means am I trying to brag about these handbags at all. I have, it has taken me quite a while to collect all of these bags. I've worked very hard for them. I just have to kind of caveat this by saying that if you guys are watching my channel, you know that we do talk about luxury handbags. So that's why you guys are here. And this has been one of the most requested videos. So that is why I'm filming it. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. I'm not going to go in any particular order. But I thought my closet would be the best place to film rather than my filming space so that way I can easily access all of my things. If you guys didn't check out my closet transformation video, I do have this nifty little Ikea pack system. I save so much money by doing this myself. I was going to get California closets to come in and instead I opted to do it myself. I saved a lot of money. So check that video out in case you're interested in creating a closet for yourself. Okay guys, I have 15 bags to share. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it when I wrote it on paper. So we're gonna try to get right into it. Let's start with my very first Louis Vuitton purchase and it is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 35. I've mentioned before, I purchased this bag for around $700. I think it is like more than double than price with all the price increases I can't keep track but this is a bag I will be honest I don't reach for it very often because I don't have the bandolier version I feel like if I had the bandolier version I would reach for it a lot more because now a lot of times I would just if I do wear it I have to wear it on the crook of my arm or just kind of hold it and I find it to be a little uncomfortable especially since I love crossbody bag more you put in this bag the heavier it is so you can see I have it in the beautiful damier i've been like you can even see the lock has like tarnished quite a bit you open it up and i do currently have a zumoni organizer i do have a zumoni code i will put it up on the screen in case you guys are interested i don't make money off of it but it will save you 20 percent but i like using them because it keeps my bag structured and clean on the inside but you can see the beautiful uh interior let me just take out this organizer really quickly as you can imagine you can fit quite a bit in this bag that's why it's such a popular bag i do wish i would have purchased the bandolier but i will never sell this bag because it was my first louis vuitton handbag purchase and it was very special to me so the first bag is the louis vuitton speedy 35. okay the next louis vuitton bag that i have to share is a neverfull and this is a bag that i typically use for travel i love it for travel and it is my louis vuitton neverfull in the damier azure with the beautiful rose ballerine interior. And once again, I do have a Zumoni organizer in icing pink because again, as you can see with the organizer, it kind of helps to keep the structure of the bag. But this bag, I wouldn't say that I wear it on a daily basis. I would definitely say it's more suitable for me for travel. I recently went to Texas and I took my other number four. I like to kind of use this one in the summer because of the color and then the monogram one I like to use it in the fall. But this is great. I actually did a dedicated video on packing for Texas and I put everything I needed in here. It's such a functional bag. Let me put it on so you can see. It's a little big in my opinion to wear on a daily basis unless of course you're a mom I think it would be a great you know, mom bag but I typically only wear it for travel but it does fit comfortably over the shoulder there is a nice space I really really like it and the really cool thing about this bag too is that it does come with this little pouch and on the inside of the pouch, you can see it is a beautiful pink interior. So this is a really, really good bag. I'm so glad I picked it up. But like I said, I definitely don't reach for it 
on a daily basis. I more so reach for it when I travel. Okay, sticking with the Neverfull, I also own the Neverfull in the GM size in the monogram with the beautiful Pivon or Fuchsia interior. And you can see it has already started to patina a little bit or turn that honey color. I have a Zumoni organizer in there which is which is the beautiful uh, cranberry color that kind of matches and then this one also comes with another pouch that is the one cool thing about these neverfuls is they all come with a pouch and i just attached this cute little puffer i think i got it from organize my bag then on the inside you can see i actually have I have some Advil and I have a face mask in here. And this is the bag that I actually took with me on my recent trip to Texas for travel. It's so good, like the straps are a little thin, so you do kind of worry, oh my gosh, if I put too much stuff in it, is it gonna break? But it's really, really sturdy, it fits quite a bit. Obviously it does become heavy, but with any bag, the more you put in it, it is gonna become heavy. But this bag, again, I don't wear it on a daily basis, too much. I mean, when I was going into the office, occasionally I would take it into the office and I will insert a few pics. But for the most part, I use this for travel. This one and the Damier Azur, I use that for travel as well. So great, great Louis Vuitton bag. I would highly recommend it for travel. Okay, sticking with the never full category, I do also own the never full in the mm size now this is a great bag i'd recommend for an everyday bag you can also use it for an office bag as well as you can see when i wear it over my shoulder it's a little more of a normal size so it doesn't look overwhelming let me just put on the gm size and you can kind of see what i mean the gm size is a little more like overwhelmingly big when you wear it and this one is a little more suitable i would say but it's still this size is a great bag. So I opted for the Damier Eben, and then I have the beautiful pink interior. Once again, a Zumoni organizer. I love getting organizers for my bags. And then I have the pouch, Damier Eben, and then on the inside is this beautiful pink. Is it just me, but I love the combination of the Damier Eben and the pink. I just think this combination looks so nice together, but you can kind of leave it out like that, or you can take these, you can cinch, cinch the bag in to give it a little bit of a different look. But I would recommend, if I were gonna tell you to get a Neverfull, I would recommend the Damier Ben because it doesn't have the Vachetta. The one problem with my other two larger bags, they both have Vachetta, so you ha unless you spray it with Apple Guard, you have to worry about water spots, you have to worry about the patina, but for this one, as you can see, you don't have to worry about the Vachetta. So I really, really love this bag. I think this is great for every day. I will be honest, I haven't reached for it that much because I do find myself loving crossbody bags, as you guys know. But if you're more of a shoulder bag type of gal, this is great because you get the bag and it also comes with the interior pouch as well. Okay, I am filming in front of a window, so if the lighting changes, I do apologize. The sun is coming in and out, so forgive me for that. But the next bag I want to mention is probably my most recent Louis Vuitton handbag purchase, and it is this little double zip pochette. One side here is the reverse monogram with the large LV, and the other side is the regular monogram. This bag has removable straps, has an adjustable strap, it also has this little center compartment here. Now one thing about it, keep in mind, it's not going to fit your cell phone. So I'm trying to see if I have my cell phone. Okay, so I have the iPhone XR, but if I try to put it in there like that, it doesn't fit. You could put it there vertically, but who really wants to do that? So that is kind of one dagger. But you could put a card holder in here or keep receipts. There is a good amount of space if you want to do that. But I recently did a video of what's in my bag in case you guys are interested in what fits. Surprisingly, it fits all of your essentials. So if you, even though you can't put your phone here, your phone will fit in one of these zip compartments. As you can see, I'm just gonna put it in there now. So you can see in there's still space if you wanted to put a card holder. One thing that I love about this, look at these zippers. The zippers on my double zip pochette 
it's so smooth and I love it and this is just a really good grab-and-go bag like let's say you want to go to the grocery store but you don't want to take a big purse but you want to take a little bit more than your key pouch this is a really good one and I love how it's versatile so you can wear it this way if you want the monogram showing or if you want a little bit of a different look you can wear it the other way with the reverse monogram showing. So I, you guys know me, I love versatility when it comes to my bag. And if you guys are looking for a really good grab and go bag, definitely consider this. As I stated, it, it fits surprisingly more than you would think. So definitely check out my what's in my bag video. And then I do plan on doing a dedicated review once I've had it for a while. Okay, the next bag is such a cutie. And I will be honest, when this bag first came out, I wanted it so bad, I couldn't get it in the store. I put my name on the waiting list for my sales associate, but I couldn't wait, so I actually ended up purchasing it at a premium, and then wouldn't you know it, after I got it at a premium, my sales associate said, hey, guess what, it's in. So sometimes you have to be patient, sometimes you have to snatch it up, but it is the Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy. How cute is this bag? It is the most adorable bag, it really is. Now, the newer Nano Speedy does come with a removable strap. This one, as you can see, the strap is not removable. Some people have, you know, cut the strap off. I haven't done that just in case I ever want to resell it, but you can see the strap is not adjustable and it is not removable. Now, one thing I did, and I want to give you guys an update. I did a video where I sprayed my Nano Speedy with Apple Guard because as you guys know, the Apple Guard is going to kind of prevent it from getting rain or watermarks. And I want to just quickly give you guys an overview. Hopefully you can see that. The Apple Guard really works. I sprayed the strap. I also sprayed the handles and it looks really, really nice. So this is such a cutie. First off, let me, before I show you the inside, let me kind of show you how it looks on my frame. So I am about five foot three and you can see where it fits. It's really, really cute. Now, the only thing is this bag is little. It's like a little abyss. It fits a lot, however, the opening is a little tiny, so sometimes it can be a little bit challenging getting like your phone out of it. I do actually have, surprising, another Zumoni organizer in here, but I'll give you an example. I have the iPhone XR, can put it in here like so, and it will fit, but just when you get out, you have to almost turn your phone a little bit to, you have to kind of finagle it a bit, but I have done, What's in my bag videos? I've done like reels on Instagram. This bag really, really does fit a lot. It is such a cutie. I was just, I wanted it so bad. So I, I bought it through a reseller and I did pay the extra amount and it's so cute. I don't wear it as much as I thought I would, but I still absolutely love it. It would have been nice if I could have gotten the one with the removable strap, but that's okay. I still really like it and it's a great little cute bag. Okay, the seventh bag I want to mention is this little Louis Vuitton Lackey BB. And I remember when I purchased this, I didn't really see too many people talking about this bag and it really is quite the functional bag. Now it does have a top handle, which I love. It has a thin strap, which is adjustable, and the strap is also removable, so if you wanna just kinda of carry it as a top handle, you can, or if you want, you can carry it as a crossbody, which is what I like. This is a very casual bag, but I have also um, taken it to work as well. A lot of people are scared off by this buckle. I will be honest, I don't really have too many scratches, if you guys can see. The only thing that I found is with this leather, sometimes it can get fingerprints on it, which can be kind of a pain, but it does have this section right here where it kind of goes in on the sides, but I still find that you can fit a good amount. I don't have an organizer for this one. It has the um, microfiber suede interior. This is another bag. I think I've done a what's my bag video, but it definitely fits a lot, fits all of your essentials. I'll tell you what would make this bag great. I would love it if this bag had a back pocket for your phone. That would be absolutely awesome. But this is another bag like I like to add into the rotation. Would I say that it's my most used Louis Vuitton bag? No, definitely not, but it's definitely a functional little guy, versatile, fits all your essentials. And I love the combination of the black and the monogram. I just think this combination looks so nice. If you're not into the black and monogram, I think they also have it with the pink and then they had it with a caramel color too, which I consider getting, but then it was like, Amber, you don't need another one. So this is the black and the monogram and I love this bag.
Okay, number eight on the list is a bag from the men's collection, and this is the Louis Vuitton Outdoor Messenger Bag. So I fell in love with this monogram eclipse. I love the black and the gray. It just looks so pretty, and this is so functional because it does have a pocket for your phone. You can see how your phone would just like slip right in. So if you're wearing it, if you're wearing it as a crossbody, you just take your phone, you put it in the pocket. It's like really easy access. Plus, it's nice because this bag is so large, so it can fit quite a bit. You can see it's one large compartment. It has this shoulder strap right here with the beautiful um, monogram eclipse on it. It does have an adjustable strap. I think I mentioned this before. The only thing with this bag, sometimes the strap will like twist a little bit, but I just recommend that when you, before you put it on, you make sure that everything is even on both sides. It's really comfortable to wear. It doesn't get too heavy because it's nice that it has this pretty thick strap right here. So I really love this bag. This is definitely one of the more functional bags in my collection. I also love how the men's collection has this silver hardware. Really, really beautiful. And then you can see the back too. Great, great bag. Super, super functional. All right, let's talk about another bag. I was so excited to get and it is this speedy 20 which is so beautiful so beautiful in the impromt leather oh my gosh so first off you guys know i love impromt leather it is just so flexible and it wears really well so when i found out they were coming out with a speedy 20 this size which is the perfect size in the impromt leather i knew i had to jump on it so you can see it has the gold tone hardware there's the bottom of the bag. I do have a pink Zumoni organizer. Let me take it out so you guys can see what the inside looks like. So the inside is just the black microfiber lining. I would recommend if you get this bag to get an organizer that is a lighter color because since the interior is black, sometimes it can be kind of hard to see things, especially if it's a, a dark, small leather good. So this bag, you can just kind of carry it top handle. I will also insert a pic of me wearing it. And then it does come with this strap. You can see the strap, it is a leather strap, and then it has these chains. So let's go ahead and put the chains on here and I will show you, I will try it on for you and show you how it fits my frame. I love that the bag, the bag is adjustable too, so okay. So here it is on my frame. Now the only thing is it's comfortable to wear, but sometimes it can feel a little bit bulky since it is the speedy, it sticks out a little bit. But I still, I really, really love it. I'll usually leave the top unzipped so that I can easily access my things. I will insert an overlay. You guys can see that this bag does fit. Once again, just like the other bags, it fits your essentials and everything you would need. And because it is the imprint leather, it, the wear and tear has been very minimal on this. So this is another great bag. I think it came in a couple other colors as well. And I love it. It's just a really like bus free bag. OMG. So I'm just going to gush about this next bag. I'm sorry, but I love it. And it is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. You guys, how many times have you heard me talk about this bag on my channel? I love this bag. Let me count the ways. I'm going to tell you again. First off, this is the Vachetta here. Now, this is the Pachetta handle. I do have water spots. So now I carry it with this really, really cute uh, bandeau that I got from Louis Vuitton. Love this bag. You can wear it as a top handle or you can also wear it as a crossbody, which is how I like to wear it. It does have an adjustable strap. And then you can also wear it as a long shoulder bag as well. This is just so good. It does have a back pocket. The back pocket, is where I slip my phone. Of course, I love the easy access. And then watch this, you guys. So you open the bag like so, and you can see how spacious this is. There are three compartments. This fits so much. And the sides of the bag, it is an accordion style, so it expands. It's very comfortable to wear. I find that even when I have a lot in it and it's heavy, it's still comfortable to wear. I just love this bag. My favorite thing, I love top handles. Top handles and back pockets. So like if I'm wearing it and I need to take it off, I just grab the top handle. Or if it's in my front seat, I just grab the top handle. It's just so functional. There's a reason, in my opinion, this bag is so popular because it really is so functional and it's just so easy to use and I just love it, you guys. Okay, if we're gonna talk about the Pachette Matisse and the Monogram, I have to talk about the Pachette Matisse in the Imprint Leather. Oh. 
I love this bag and I would say between the two I probably gravitate towards the black one more just because it matches with a lot of my wardrobe but this one I wear a lot in the fall because there's something about the monogram in the fall that looks so nice but once again this has a top handle back pocket like the others it does have look at this just beautiful impromptu leather it wears so nicely now the only thing i don't know if it'll pick up on camera this has started to tarnish a little bit from the oils of my fingers of constantly touching the bag that is a little a little sad but everything else is you know good on the bag you open it up and you can see the interior and oh shocker i got a few tamps in here you know i can never be without my tamps. Oh, I've got like five in here. <laughs> so you go oh, in a Bath and Body Works coupon that has expired. Okay. So you can see once again, it expands. It fits quite a bit. Comes with an adjustable strap as well, which I actually think I have this on my other back because I like to do that sometime. I like to change out my strap for my Pichette Matisse and put that on some of my other bags. So I think, so I think I have that on one of my other bags at the moment. But this is so good. I love the Pichette Matisse. I would highly recommend it. The price increases have been crazy lately, but you guys, I still think it's worth it. This is such a good bag. If you were to only buy one Louis Vuitton bag, I would say go for the Pichette Matisse. It is just so functional, and you're gonna find yourself reaching for it all the time. Oh my goodness, can we talk about another bag that is so functional that I am so in love with and it actually turned out to be a great surprise. Like when I bought it, I know I was going to like it, but I didn't realize how much I was going to like it and it is the Odeon PM in the Damier Eben. First off, how nice does the Damier Eben look with the black? I love that it has this little luggage tag, which can be removed, but I don't know why you would want to remove it. I really like the look of it with the luggage tag. It does have a pocket, which is magnetic, where you can put your phone. The back of the bag doesn't have anything on it, and you can see the bottom. It does have these little leather corners. It has a pretty thick strap that is removable and it is also adjustable now I never take the strap off of this because I don't think I would ever just like carry it like this but you can if you want so let me share with you how it looks on me I wear it like this sometimes the buckle can kind of dig into my shoulder a little bit but for the most part it is just so nice you see how it just kind of molds to your body you can reach your phone and then on the inside it fits a lot once again this is another bag i have a red zumoni organizer because then that way because it is a black interior that way when i put my small leather goods in here i can easily access them as you can see but this is a great bag this is another one of my favorite louis vuitton bags that was such a nice surprise so this is another bag it's not quite as expensive as the pochette matisse that if you're looking for a functional louis vuitton bag that you're going to reach for all the time definitely go for this. Now I do find that this is a little more casual, whereas I do feel with the Pichette Matisse, because it has a top handle, you can wear it to work. Now you can wear this to work too, but I tend to gravitate towards this if I'm a little more casual, but I love it. Love the ease of use. It's just so good. And I love this extra little luggage tag. Very cute. All right. The next bag, I think we're up to number 13 is this beautiful Crusette. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is such a great bag. I love wearing it in spring and summer with dresses, and I actually also got some some pink sandals that match this as well. This, just like that, my other Pichette, my Pichette Matisse is Bichetta, and I have water spots. So once again, I got this really pretty little bandeau to put on the on it as well. But I also wear this in the winter time too with coats. It does have a Bichetta strap that can be removed. Uh, it's not adjustable. Keep that in mind. But the the strap is long enough where you don't really need to adjust it. Let me show you. So again, I'm five foot three. And you can see where it hits me. Really, really great bag. It would, of course, would be even better if it had a little back pocket like right here. So you just open it like so. And I have. Oh, what do I have in here? I have another Zumuni organizer, and I have this. Seville Orange by Nest. I was looking for this. And then I also have this by Chanel in number 912. Let's see. Oh, this is the Chanel Balm. I love the Chanel Balm. I was looking for that, actually. So, 
you can see I have a Zumoni organizer because the bottom of this bag is dirty so because it does have a light interior I would recommend getting an organizer with it but this is another bag that is really really nice love the top handle it does also come with this little tassel you can remove it if you want I do find it sometimes annoying when you're walking because it'll like kind of do this number so you can take it off if you want but I have gotten so many compliments on this bag there's actually one of my fellow hockey moms she loved this bag so her husband reached out to me he was like hey my wife really really loves your bag like you know where did you get it and it was sold out but I was able to I kept checking the website to see when it was back in stock and then I sent him a text I was like it's back in stock get it so he surprised her with it and she absolutely loves it so it's such a good bag very functional I do have a few water spots on the Vachetta but I'd recommend you know investing in bandeaus too because it is a way to just spruce up your bag and I love this one okay the next bag on the list is this Palm Springs mini backpack how cute is this once again the monogram with the black I love how it has this little top handle here I know I've mentioned this to you guys before but I was never interested in the Louis Vuitton backpacks until I saw the lovely Maria Vizuet she is a blogger Mia Mia Mine on Instagram and she wore this crossbody and it looks spectacular on her so I'm like oh I need to get that bag so first off you can see it does have kind of quilting on the back it does also come with two straps this are the straps you can see they're thinner they are adjustable they have one of these numbers to adjust it where it has like the little buttons but I will be honest like I don't really ever wear this as a book bag I typically will wear this as a crossbody so what you're gonna do is I'll just take the straps attach it to the little d-ring here and then you wear it like this and i wear it and how cute is that right it looks so cute crossbody plus this zipper is really smooth and you can fit quite a bit in there and i like it because i can just easily like access my things so i'll put my stuff in there vertically so i can get a good picture and i can see it all i think i did a reel on instagram kind of sharing that with you now i have the version i think it's the newer version that does not have the flap over the zipper so it makes the zipper a lot more easy to close now this little pocket right here i never use this ever first off it's hard to get into and it does have a little flap i guess if you wanted you could put a like a lipstick or something in it but i don't really use it this is another good bag you could also wear it as a backpack but like i said for me i typically wear it crossbody it fits a good amount and i love that it has this little handle it is just so cute and adorable okay we are down to the wire this is my last Louis Vuitton bag that I have to share and I think we're going out with a bang we're ending on a good note and it is my Alma BB I've had this bag for so long I've raved about it I love the Alma BB it is more affordable for Louis Vuitton if you take a look at most of their bags um, I have it in the Damier Ben it does also come in the monogram as well but again I prefer the Damier Ben because of the Vachetta on the monogram but you can see this bag it's got a buckle here, a zipper there. It does zip. You can wear this if you want as a top handle. I have worn it to work as a top handle. You can also wear it as a crossbody bag. Now keep in mind the strap on this is not adjustable, but I like wearing it like this so then I can easily access my things. Now, I don't really ever close the bag. So it has this little clamshell opening so a lot of times what I'll do is I will keep the zippers kind of like here so it's just peeked open a little bit so then I can like easily access my things. I have done a what's in my bag video on this but I do also plan on doing a dedicated review since I have had it for a while so I can tell you the positives and negatives. It does also have feet on the bottom which is huge. Again I love this bag. I do wish it had an adjustable strap and sometimes when you're wearing it it can feel like a little awkward because of the shape but it's comfortable to wear it fits all your essentials I would say this is another bag that is a little more casual however I have worn it to work carrying it as a top hand so this is another bag that is great I just love it okay whew, there you guys go that is my Louis Vuitton handbag collection I am really really 
pleased with my collection. I think I have a good variety and I really, really do enjoy all of the bags. I will try to find all the bags on like the pre-love market and link it down below in case you guys are interested because I know sometimes these bags go in and out of stock on the Louis Vuitton website. So I will link them in the description for your convenience in case you're interested. And please, if you guys have any questions at all about any of these bags or anything I can help clarify, please feel free to message me on Instagram or leave a comment down below and I would love to help. As I always say, I know these bags can be expensive, so part of my job is I want to give you guys the best review on here so that that way I can an help answer all of your questions so you can make an informed decision since these items are super expensive. So thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to hit that little subscribe button if you're new to my channel, and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. Thank you guys again for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'd love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. A lot of times that's your where you'll see where how I style these bags, so if you're interested in that, check me out over there. Have a good one, and I'll see you in my next video. Wish me the